Not do his thing, but I appreciate him, man. Anytime somebody come up uh, to the Miami Improv, I appreciate him. I give him a shot, give him a chance to do their thing. He's no stranger to the Miami Improv. Every time he come here, he does his thing. He likes it up. I want y'all to show love to him. Put your hands together, y'all. Give it up, give it up. My homie, Ryan Barrett, clap it up. Like I said about black culture, 
but I come from a really small shelter white town, it wasn't always that way. So what I did is uh, I kept a little diary, journal of sorts, so I thought I'd share it. With you guys, you got some smooth, this poem, what do you got? Some poetry. Oh yeah. And she told me, you're so stupid. So I told her to fuck herself. Didn't realize until it was too late. That's a black girl's flirt. December 21st, 2012, Dear Diary. Saw a girl put a whole chicken wing in her mouth and cut out with just the bone. My first thought was, that's really aggressive. My second thought, I don't want a blowjob. January 2nd, 2013, Dear Diary. I am disgusted at the glorification of domestic violence and rap music. If you love a pussy, why would you beat it up? <laughs> February 4th, 2013, Dear Diary. Saw a guy walking around in a Black History Month t-shirt made of 100% cotton and didn't have the heart to point out the irony. You get that on the way home. March 3rd, 2013, Dear Diary. Had a break up with my first black girlfriend after only a week because I didn't have enough time for her. It just takes too long to listen to a full RB song when I'm gonna leave a voicemail. Fuck Nick Minaj, seriously. And finally, April 3rd, 2013, Dear Diary. Had sex with my first black girlfriend and it was amazing. He even went down on her, and they put hot sauce on it. Because they really put that shit on everything. Uh, uh, some of my thoughts that I've learned, some of the things I've learned. A couple more things before I get out of here. Um, a lot of my, my white friends, white comics especially, like to give me shit. Because I do a lot of black comedy clubs, a lot of spoken word rooms, things like that. And I like to say, you don't have any other type of material, you don't have any diversity in your act. But if you look around, there's lots of diversity in this room. There's every color in the sun, right? You got a uh, black, off black, black black, bright smile black, blackout black, blackboard, chalkboard, charcoal, window tape, midnight space, brown, dark brown, light brown, Bobby brown, Charlie brown, Chris brown, Jim brown, James brown, Judge Joe brown, mocha, milk chocolate, dark chocolate, baker's chocolate, cocoa, caramel, Milky Way, Three Musketeers, Nougat, Kit Kat, M&M, &M. red bone, yellow bone, wish bone, busy bone, trombone, antique grass, brass band, drumline, fan you. Ebony, mahogany, April, oak, cherry, tree bark, almond, walnut, chestnut, chin nuts, peanuts, these nuts, desert sand, desert storm, Sahara, burnt sienna, tumbleweed, red rock, Grand Canyon, scorched oak, purple, and Wesley Snipes. Uh, I'm sorry if I left anyone out, I don't like discriminating. Uh, I got things. I got the lights, so I'll just uh, one last thing before I get out of here. Obviously, I've heard about black culture, but I want to bring you to my world. Uh, if you really want to see how white people dance, like, in the wild, go to a, go to a goth club. Yeah, that's, you'll see some shit there. Like, it's creepy as fuck. They got, like, the pleather outfit, their spiked hair, they're kind of on rhythm, but not really, and they never break eye can't contact, it's so fucking creepy. But, there were some hot bitches there. So I want to fit in. And this is pretty much what I did. What do you got, Paul? So that's, that's, that's creepy, too. Yeah. Thank you.
Gucci, 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 Gucci,